Hello everybody, Derek Roddy here at Dromeo Studios. Okay, I have a couple of tips that will help you develop your blast beats, and anybody who's familiar with my playing knows that I'm a balance freak. I believe that everything that happens in, in this genre of playing blast beats and double bass really centers on balance. So here's an exercise that I feel that is, that's been most beneficial for me as a player trying to develop this, okay? First thing we want to start off is alternating 16th notes between a hand and a foot. There's four combinations. First combination, right hand, right foot. And you can do this floor tom on snare drum, on various drums, it kind of doesn't matter. What you're focusing on is the alternating, okay? So. Here it is a little slower. Here it is a little faster. Okay, second combination. Left hand, left foot. Little slower. And a little faster. Okay, combination three. Right hand, left foot. slower. And a little faster. Okay, last combination. Left hand, right foot. A little faster. Okay, so these are the four combinations. Um, Again, let's go back to what I said earlier um, about the time limits, okay? Time limits is something I like to apply to most, all of the exercises that I give you guys. Um, what you wanna do is start at a tempo that is just under your comfort level because this is gonna help you develop quicker than starting you know, somewhere that's very comfortable for you. So push it just a little bit to where it's almost outside of your comfort level. And to remember when you do that, do that starting with your weaker limb, okay? because you'll start off faster with your strong side and then realize when it goes to your weaker side, you're not that fast. So always start these exercises with your weaker side. Okay, here's another weak side development. Um, it's not really an exercise, it's more of a concept. And that concept is just simply using your weaker side more. And what I mean by that, if you're playing in a band, in an everyday band, right, and you're, whether it's a cover gig, whether it's originals, whatever you're doing, if you can execute the parts that you need to execute with your weaker side, you should be doing that, okay? And what I mean by that, you know, if you're playing this kind of thing, simply use your left foot. Play with it more often. Same thing with the left hand. Again, being aware, simply using your left side more often, 
obviously will make it better. Something we don't think about, something that kind of goes overlooked because we go through our autopilot motion, you know, as a drummer, uh, use your weaker side more. Definitely helps. And of course, if you guys dig this, head over to Drumio. Tons of stuff that I've got there that work on blast beats, different exercises for spacing and balance. Check it out, head on over, drumio.com.